Hi everybody, Brett Mitchell here, music director of your Colorado Symphony. We hope that you and yours continue to be safe, well, and in good spirits. I want to start off by saying how incredibly grateful all of us in the Colorado Symphony family are for the extraordinary support you've shown over the past few weeks. For some of you, that's meant donating the tickets you had purchased to one of our events that's now postponed. For others of you, it's meant the early purchase of a subscription package for next season. And for so many of you, it's meant enjoying and sharing the music we've been sharing online with you. You know, our entire team has continued to put our heads together to keep brainstorming creative ways to bring to you the music and musicians you love, even while we're apart. Which brings us to this. I'm so excited to share with you that we're going to start streaming recordings of some of our Colorado Symphony performances from the past few seasons. And before each of these performances, we're going to feature a brand new video introduction, just like this one, from one of our musicians, giving you really an unprecedented, one-of-a-kind concert experience right in the comfort of your own home. We begin this new series with one of the most uplifting, joyous pieces ever composed, Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, the so-called apotheosis of the dance. Now, Beethoven himself said that this was one of his best pieces, so we're particularly proud to dedicate this performance to our friends at the Bonfi Stanton Foundation. It seems only appropriate in the year 2020 to kick off this series with a symphony by Beethoven because, as you may have heard, this year marks the 250th anniversary of his birth back in 1770. Now, this performance of his seventh symphony you're about to hear comes from a program I conducted with the orchestra a little over a year ago now, back in the first week of March 2019. You know, if anyone understood the struggle of self-distancing and isolation, something we've all learned a little more about over the past few weeks, it was Beethoven. When he was barely 30 years old, he wrote this heartbreaking letter to his brothers saying that because of his ever-worsening hearing loss, quote, I was compelled early to isolate myself, to live in loneliness. And yet, a decade later, even as his hearing continued to decline and solitude became the rule rather than the exception, Beethoven showed us with this Seventh Symphony that no matter how dark things may seem, there is always hope, always the possibility of joy. And if there was hope for Beethoven, there's hope for all of us. How grateful we can be to Beethoven for a reminder like that in times like these. From all of us at the Colorado Symphony, please stay safe and healthy. We will see you again soon at Betcher Concert Hall. Until then, we hope that you enjoy Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, performed by your Colorado Symphony.